everybody. Welcome back to Build at Home. I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper, coming to you from my home in New York City. And today I'm going to be catching up with actress Talia Balsam about her new film, South Mountain. Mm -hmm. But first, I want to remind you guys about the campaign, No Kid Hungry. You know, a lot of kids depend on school for their daily meals. And as of today, 806 million school meals have been missed. So well, I want to encourage you to go visit nokidhungry.org if you want more information about that organization and how you can donate. And now I want to switch gears and welcome Talia. Hello, Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm okay. Where are you at right now? I am out in Long Island and I take it you're in New York City. I am, yeah. Uh, yeah, we came out with my son, my husband, and my mother. So we've been out here for about five weeks. Yeah, it's crazy how, how time has flown that it's already been that long. Um, how have you guys been doing just your mood with all of this? Um, I think it's like for everyone, a little up and down, uh, challenging. And then a lot of times I'm just like, wow, this is time my mother and my son wouldn't have spent together. And I think that that's sort of fantastic. I wish the weather was better so we could get outside more and be in the back. But I think, um, uh, you know, it's like, it's an opportunity for a lot of things. And it's also, it's challenging. You have to kind of find your own space, you know? That grandparent time is really special. That's really beautiful to hear just because you, you hear everything that's going on and the fact that you have your mom yeah. there with you is very special. Yeah, I feel yeah. like, yeah, I'm glad. I mean, I was glad to get her out of the city too. You know, she lives in a big building and it was, it was a little scary, you know, so mm -hmm. we're lucky we had the opportunity to do this. Yeah, and you guys are a very artistic family. So what are you doing during this time to sort of stay creative or to keep yourselves busy? You know, it's funny. I'm watching my son as a, an art major at Wesleyan. So he's been doing these amazing, um, he's been using his time a lot better than <laughs> us. <laughs> but um, I've been cooking more, but he, he has uh, been making these light sculptures and hanging them up in the wow. middle of the woods. And we've been photographing them at night. And that's his school assignment. So he's still at school and doing, you know, his classes, but he has to physically, you know, make these things and do them. So we've been involved in that and um, a lot of cooking, trying to draw, read, try to exercise, <laughs> you know, try to keep my sanity. Um, you know, all the things that we're all doing, I think. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And what are you cooking? That's always my favorite question. You know, <laughs> I was cooking a lot of pasta and then I was like, better slow down on that. <laughs> so, and there's fish. There's always great fish out here. So Amazing. John has been going to the store for all of us. So whatever we can grab, basically, that's fresh. And uh, and I think it's kind of cool. You just sort of have what's there and then try to figure out what to make. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that Corona 15 is real. You have to be yeah. careful. So, exactly. for, so. for me, it's the sweets. I made like an entire thing of banana bread and it's just mm. me. I was like, that felt a little really? intense, but did you yeah, have I it ate all it. or did you, I pop, ate, you know? <laughs> no, I ate all of it in like three days. <laughs> yeah, I think we stopped buying cookies. I think that was sort of our like, okay. yeah, we all, yeah, you have to. You have to. And it's interesting. I just watched your film, Stone uh, Mountain, um, or sorry, South Mountain. Okay. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful film. And it was interesting because your, your character is sort of dealing with loneliness in this new way. And because of where I'm at, it was just, I really connected to her character and her kind of looking to connect with people. So take us through the premise of the film and why it was interesting for you to be a part of this project. Well, it was interesting because um, I, and I, I'm glad you mentioned that because I think it, it is the film is, is evolving as the, our world is evolving in a yeah. way that it is probably hitting different notes right now. But mm -hmm. um, how it, you know, it's just such a, it was a, it was a great script. I had just come off of a divorce, which was a, mm -hmm. a, an HBO show, which was a very different part. And I think that um, in terms of when I read it and stuff, I thought, at the time, I remember, you know, I think things come to you for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was, my son was about to go off to college. And I think I was sort of grappling with loss, loneliness, re-identifying myself, what mm. sort of trying to prime myself for this and didn't really know what that was going to be. So I think it struck a chord with me. Definitely. Sure. And take yeah. us through the premise. I'll let you do it because I always give too much away. Uh, but what is the premise I'm of the film? A little nervous about it in this too. <laughs> um, 
What would you want me to? You mean? <laughs> I feel like, like I'm going to give something away, but <laughs> that's why I'm putting it on you. I don't want the responsibility. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, just yes. the general sort of uh, overview of the film. I think overview is a, a, a woman, a family that lives up in the Catskills. And I think this is a woman who's made her nest uh, in a sort of bucolic setting and um, has a, a, I would call it an array of family that's like one kid that's hers, one that's a step, you know, so it's a very mixed family um, and sort of has to deal with her life not going the way she had planned. And I think it becomes very apparent in the movie. Um, I think you're watching someone sort of journey through um, having to deal with something not by choice. And this thing, maybe the the idea of all this loss, you know, of losing her kids going off and, you know, I mean, I might give it away t too much, but I mean, I think that she's lived a life and had an agenda for, and denied a lot of things. And, and I think it comes to a point where she can't actually escape that. And Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And w yeah. what do you think is the significance of her age and where she's at in her life and having to sort of realize well, that the life is not going the way she planned it to go. Yeah, I mean, I think you have different choices at 30 than you do at whatever age you want her to be. And I think that she's been married. So, um, I think the idea that he's going on and starting a new family and that her kids are leaving and that she has invested so much mm. of her life into this this thing, I think that it's it, it was sort of... Um, I don't think there's an an I don't think that she arrives in an answer actually. I think she moves through certain emotions and things and arrives at a, at a very loving place, but I think it's, you know, a lot. Well, it's day by day, which is what I love about the film. It literally is they let you know kind of where you're at on the calendar and you kind of see her processing these things in like a really realistic way, which is what I loved. Mm -hmm. And all of her actions, you can sort of understand and you can see her working through them. I mean, it really is a day by day sort of thing. Is that how it felt for you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, you mean making it? No, her, just like her her process and how she's dealing with everything. It's so realistic because it is just sort of happening and yeah. I don't know, it felt like real time sometimes. I think in a way, you know, we shot in order. And um, oh. uh, I actually was found that very helpful in this case and we shot long scenes and I mm -hmm. think um, there are sections, I think, if you remember, it's sort of sectioned off into, maybe it's almost like a three-act play, I would say. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was very much like, 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 oh, information coming in, dealing with it, and then trying to resolve it, you know? So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you are watching that happen, basically, in real time. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And let's talk about you and Scott Cohen. He plays your husband. Yes. Um, and yeah. And your scenes together are so painful and beautiful. And some of them are very quiet. And I love those because it allows me to sort of get inside your character's heads and imagine what they were saying. So just take me through playing those scenes and how you guys worked on that chemistry because sometimes you guys are silent together and it's so powerful. Well, I think that um, he's so great in it. And I think and it's a really difficult role because it's sort of a could be cliched. And I think that I've worked with Scott before. I have to say he's one of the more present people that I've ever met as an actor and mm -hmm. a person. And I think that, I mean, we discuss it, but I think that the, the where we are in our lives and, and the things that at this point in your life that you can bring to something based on your own history. And I, I feel also with Hillary making the movie, there wasn't any onus on like, here's the dramatic moment here, you know, it, it, mm. it unfolds in a way that, uh, is kind of startling because, um, you know, looking at the thing, I was like, well, here's where they do this. And you're like, no, it unfolds like life, yeah. like where he's at. They're in different places. And I think you're watching this woman navigate like, we, what's he, you know? So, I mean, it, we shot those scenes are long and they're, they're mm -hmm. um, but we have time to spend on them. And yeah. um, because of the, the, crew is so small and intimate. I think that um, it really helped. I mean, there's yeah. no feeling of like there was an audit. I mean, Ethan, who's the cinematographer was, I mean, you. I could barely tell anyone was there. That's amazing. Yeah. 
And you mentioned the intimacy of the crew. The crew was very familiar to Hillary, the director, right? Like her husband was a cinematographer. Yes. I read that her children were in the film. So just take me Maria. through that. Yeah. Yeah. Take just take me through that vibe on set and the what she created and what that was like to work with for you. Well, it was amazing because as advertised, she, she said it had a very sort of uh, French feel to it. And I was like, well, I've done indies before, <laughs> but this was her husband, her children. We, we all lived in the same house. Maria, who did the camera focusing and is just humongous help. And I'm trying to think of uh, Raj, who was the AD. And I mean, our, to call a footprint was so small. Um, and I have to say that because we were all living in this house together and because we were shooting in Hillary's mother's house, which was so small. I mean, you couldn't get away from anybody and it was so hot. And I think it, uh, just their knowledge of that house because we didn't even have a light kit. So we were really using like, you know, the window, she knew at three o'clock that the light would come in at the dining room table. And wow. that's when we were going to shoot that. So her knowledge of that house, the, the, the compactness of it, um, I think it really, the whole, I would actually do that again. I actually found myself really preferring that. Weirdly. Yeah, that <laughs> so, is so cool. It was her mother's home and yeah. it is amazing how intimately you know a home and how that could benefit a shoot. That's just really fascinating her stuff. Her mother was extremely generous on, on that. And then, you know, we all made meals at night and um, it, uh, we, you know, it was, it was, I think we were three weeks or something. So um, it was a great experience. That sounds like a great experience. And you guys, was it shot in the Catskills? That's where it's set. Yes, it was in Show Can, I think it's called. Yeah. That's where her mom lives. It's very cool. Yeah. So what was this experience like for you? You're the lead in this film and I've seen you over the years in a lot of different roles, but I love seeing you really as the lead getting to carry out this character. So what was this experience like for you? Um, I, thank you. I, I was really, uh, happy. I was ch really challenged by it because I felt like I hadn't done that in a long time. And I didn't, I only had 11 days to kind of prep for this. So I was nervous and, um, I felt like I was putting pressure on myself. Mm -hmm. And I think just what we were talking about with the crew, it was, it started to relax in. I can actually, when I watch the movie go, Oh, it's relaxing in, but I had to find my way. And I think in this movie, you know, there's, you could, the choice to sort of stay contained and all that was mm -hmm. made me nervous because I was like, maybe it should be more, maybe it should, you know, and, um, uh, but I felt like I was in good hands and I felt like I was with really good actors. So. Yeah. And the cast, we haven't even really got into all, but yeah. the cast was so great. But now hearing about your experience and that family dynamic, it makes sense because it sort of seems like you guys created that family and then it yeah. read like a real family on screen. You know, I mean, day one, you're like any day one, you're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the first day of school. <laughs> and then when it settled in, it was so great. It was such a great, great feeling. But um, to, to answer your question, um, I was happy to have that challenge and I, it was such a well written part. And I, so I feel really lucky. Those don't come along a lot, you know? Yeah. And it is such a beautiful film and the reviews have been great already. And I know you guys have been to several different festivals and I've read all of those reviews. I mean, there's been so much talk around this film. So I was super pumped to check it out and just thoroughly pleased with how quiet and gentle and just, sad and beautiful you know sad yeah. I don't want it to sound negative but it's sad no. in a good way it makes you feel things you know no I feel like you, it's almost like you just settle in and watch it and I've had the experience of watching it with audiences too and oh, yeah. you know you said like you watched it alone um but I was on the film festival thing and it's like actually that's fantastic also because there's sort of weird laughs of recognition <laughs> that, that you know I don't know if, if you're by yourself if you have the same thing but I was um, I remember being at South by Southwest going, oh, oh, cool. They got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Because well, congrats. really over, you know, I mean, she's over the top a little bit. So. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I watch a lot of Lifetime. So I think when women are pushed to a certain level, sometimes it's like, go for it. You know, exactly. get it out of your system. Right. Um, and that, well, that, that attracted me to the film a lot with that idea of, you know, poisoning somebody. Your husband. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
<laughs> just to add a little allure to this. <laughs> she said poisoning, guys. You got to watch now. You got to know. You got to know what happened. <laughs> um, um, congrats on the film. It really is beautiful. Um, and everybody out there, South Mountain is streaming on May 5th on VOD. That's iTunes, Amazon, Google, Google Play. Um, there's a couple different places, right? Yeah, I got Google Play, Xbox, Voodoo, Time Warner, DirecTV, and uh, I love it. Network, lots of many things, which is lovely. So, so many places to watch, which is yeah. great, which means a lot of people will get to see it and your amazing, amazing work. Thank you for joining us. Thank stay you. safe. I hope you and the family stay healthy. You too. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye.